Good morning everyone, it's Laurie. I'm here to do your general reading. I am going to go ahead and roll this zodiac die and see what signs you might be dealing with or who might be influencing your life at this time, okay? We have got strong Cancer, even stronger Gemini, super, super, super strong Gemini right now, um, which makes sense. Um, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces and Taurus are, are down, down in there somewhere. I have pre-shuffled this deck, but I'm going to shuffle it like I always do quickly, and then we will get right into your message. I hope you are well, that you're happy, healthy, and having some fun. All right, let's go ahead and cut the deck and get your message going. Yes, the Six of Wands, victory, yeah. Oh, I love you guys. You always have such positive energy. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, the Hermit, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and I've got to say it's amazing. You literally only have one major arcana here, but as usual, you have at least one ace in here too, okay? You are coming, oh, you made a big decision and you decided to take your life in a different direction. And look at this, whatever you chose to do was a huge success, you won. You were victorious. You are being recognized. You're being elevated, or at least you're elevating yourself. You may be being elevated spiritually. Wow. Awesome energy here. Incredible energy. Yeah, I'm hearing normally I, I get I'm defeated. I'm deflated. I'm I, I'm just done here when I see the nine of wands. That is absolutely not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing I'm I am. One last battle, and I am done with this. I can do this. I will persevere. I am going to have my fresh start. I am going to have joy. I know how to lead my life my own way. I've got my own inner light. I've got my connection with spirit. I have been um, holding things back, and I am not willing to do that anymore. Look at me. I am the queen of wands. I'm inspired. I'm ready to go out there and be passionate about life again. I've taken a long, hard look at what I want to keep, what I don't, what I'm going to foster, what I'm going to water, what I'm going to benefit, what's going to get my attention and what is not. I am putting this Five of Swords energy behind me and I'm turning it into a benefit. I am going to win at all costs. This is you back here. You're saying I'm done with this and this is what I'm going to do. See that light where you're just shooting right up? You're giving it up. This to me is almost like a judgment card here. Okay, this is where you've been and this is where you're heading. You're heading into the light. You're heading and you're dropping away anything that was not good for you. This is awesome. This is a beautiful reading already. Mm. Great, great energy. You guys have had it. I'm glad to see you don't have all these major arcanas out here today. <laughs> Major arcanas equal major life events. I mean, it's great to have them, but you've been having them so much lately that I just wondered, like, is your life ever going to settle down? And it looks like it is. And it looks like you're very satisfied. Okay. I heard a weird noise. I think it's outside my home. I think it may have been a bug. <laughs> All right, we're going to clarify here in a minute, but... Spirit just sent a message out saying whatever negative energies you had is ending. There has been some sort of truth that's been spoken or realized. And it has put an end to a way of thinking, feeling, acting, not acting. It has put an end to something. And whenever we end something, something else has to step in and start. And that's what this new... Um, Ace of Cups is, and I love it that it's, you get one Ace, and you get the Ace of Cups. That's the Holy Grail. <laughs> That's the cup that is all fresh starts, any and all aspects of your life. Incredible energy here. Incredible. I love it. 
All right, very happy for my lovely, lovely Libras or anyone else that's in this room watching this message, okay? Anyone who is here is always welcome to be here. Um, if I point out Libras, it's because it is meant to be a Libra channel, but like I said, everyone is welcome here. Absolutely. And I appreciate you being here. Okay, let's clarify the Nine of Wands. Can I get clarification of the Nine of Wands energy here, please? Got a couple of cards that came out. Okay, so there's been some heartbreaks, some sorrows, some pains. Oh, yeah. All right, and there's also been a break. So there was some sort of time separation or something from somebody who was very sneaky. You have regained, yeah, you have regained your, who you are, your self-worth. You understand um, that you're not tolerating anyone's bad behavior of any sort. So the Seven of Swords can be anything. It can be sneakiness, cheating, lying, um, just being disruptive, okay, being inconsistent. You're done with all of that. Okay, you've taken a break from that environment and you have found your self-worth again. You know your strength. You know you can stand on your own two feet. You know that you can be counted on to take care of yourself. Okay, and other people around you see you that way too. And they've wondered why you haven't done this sooner. Mm. Yeah, well, you know what? It doesn't matter why. You're here now. That's all that matters, okay? Yeah, see the heartbreak? You finally took the blinders off. You took a step back with the Four of Swords. Okay, six of, two, and, two of Swords and Four of Swords is the Six of Swords. You are moving into a better place. Here is that judgment that I was talking about. You're leaving this behind and elevating to the next stage of your life. Okay, and heading towards your Ten of Pentacles, your legacy, your future, your happiness, your bounty. I mean, this is all about you. And I, I'm, you know, I'm hearing that a lot of you did not, you didn't give yourself any attention in the past, okay? Everything was you focusing on this other person, waiting around for them. They could have ghosted you. That's the other aspect of the Seven of Swords. You know, not communicating with you, um, only telling you what they wanted you to know, or not speaking to you at all. And, and But they left you hanging, so you think you're still in this relationship, but you don't really know if you are or not, okay? So you've moved past this. You have moved past this. And I'm very happy and very proud of you. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Cups energy. I'm so excited for you. Oh, my goodness. Ace of Cups energy here. Clarification, please, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I have had such wonderful things happening in my life lately. I, I just can't even express it. But I do want to. I do want to say I am thankful and grateful. And you guys have a large part to do with that, okay? Some of you have regained your voice. You're learning how to speak up for yourself and take care of yourself. So that is an aspect of your life that was really important for you to regain, okay? Yeah. Now you're passionate. You're, you've been passionate about life, but you've been put every, you, all of it has been tamped down. This flame, it would be more like this. Okay, this there's the passion is still there, but somebody's got their thumb on you. Okay, they've kept your passion hidden away. Now, some of you, maybe you do to other people, but you're realizing that you are the one in control of whether that flame burns bright or not. Not whether somebody else, it's it's not, okay, it's what you have allowed from other people. You are no longer allowing them to control your happiness, your passion. You are going to let that fire burn bright. Okay, I think I got that out there the right way. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Cups. So you are be able to speak up and stand up for yourself, okay, um, you're in control of your emotions here. You are speaking honestly, straight from the heart, straight from the soul, with your intuition, which is your connection to spirit. Oh, wow. There are like at least 50 yellow golden dragonflies out 
right out my window right now. I would show you, but they won't show up on camera. I know that. Um, that is an absolute sign for somebody. Golden dragonflies. I mean, these are, we don't have a lot of sunlight, but every now and then it just, it's like a star. It's just lighting right up. I don't know the last time I've seen a yellow or gold dragonfly. So that's really impressive. Usually they're red, blue, black here. I mean, and there are a lot of them out there, which means there's a lot of bugs. So they're doing their job. Okay, <laughs> sorry for the sidebar there. Oh my goodness, but that's a message. That right there is a sign for somebody, okay? So I do take the time to point these things out when it's brought to my attention. That's what Spirit wants me to do. And I'm never arguing with the Spirit again because Spirit is right every single time. All right, clarifying the Three of Cups. Look at this. Four of Wands. This is happiness. Meeting your goals, knowing who you are, feeling secure, protected, connected. Dragonflies. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this is you coming back into connection with yourself and other people, starting to live your life fully again, attaining goals that maybe you've put aside, put, you know, talking about tamping down your passion. I know this has been a theme for a couple of days now where you're awakening, you're awakening or re awakening, I should say to something that you have been passionate about that you have not focused on. That could be you, just taking care of you, getting reconnected to your spirit, getting connected with your intuition and spirit and God. Or it could be a physical passion that you're interested in, such as music, art, um, woodworking. I don't care what it is. Okay, dance, poetry, um, building things learning things, whatever your passionate passion was when you were younger, you're bringing it back into the forefront. And I'm so excited for you. I, I'm just, I'm doing this too. Maybe it's the planetary alignments. I don't know what, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, okay? I am not going to do that. Look at this. It's destiny. It is meant to happen. It is a planetary alignment thing. You are destined to reawaken at this point in your life. Good things are meant to be happening for you, and you are waking up to this. You are being reminded that you deserve everything good in this life, okay? You were not put on this planet to suffer. That No, that's a man-made construct to control the masses, okay? You are here by the will of God, spirit, source, whatever, your own choice to be here. And you are here to reap the benefits of being a human, okay? Learning life, life's lessons, going through the journeys, the fool's journey, okay? And it is multiple journeys. It's never just one, okay? <clears throat> and learning from each of those less uh, journeys and elevating every single time. And I'll tell you what, you guys have been really popping it off. <laughs> Look at that. You've been making yourself whole. That's what the hermit um, time is. It's taking a step back from the real world, the 3D world out here in front of us, okay? Focusing inside yourself and healing the yin and the yang, okay? It, it, it's all about feeling connected. It's not just you. It's your connection between the two of you and the universe, okay? Everything. All aspects of connection. And it does make you stronger. It makes you more compassionate. It makes you more balanced. Um, it, it, it invigorates you. I'm missing a term here. It's again, it's a connection. It's a trusted connection. And that's what's happening here. You've protected yourself for a very, very long time. And now you're opening yourself back up to these connections. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. All right, don't forget to claim or like this video if this message is resonating with you. And claim it in the comments if it's your message, which it, it should be everybody's message today. All right.
page of wands for the four of pentacles. So instead of focusing inside and protecting yourself, you have decided to change direction of your focus, which is right here, okay? Um, towards working towards your goals. If you take four wands plus one, that's five wands, which is the card of striving to do something, working towards something. Efforts um, competing within yourself to raise yourself up. And your focus is now on your goals, what you want out of life. What what makes you happy? Is it a ha is it a home? Is it a family? Is it traveling? Whatever is inside those four ones, that's what you want out of life. And you have the right to decide, I don't want a family. Okay? I don't want children. It's up to you. No one can dictate to you how your life should be lived. It's your life. And you are finally focusing on that fact. And there's your bliss. There's your happiness. There's your satisfaction in life. There is your wish fulfilled. I'm loving this. <laughs> I am loving this energy. Loving this reading. Beautiful again. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Wands here. Awesome. I did just see two wands here at a crossroads, and you've decided which way you're going. All right, Queen of Wands energy. Can we get clarification, please? I also heard with this just now, um, when some of you were doing some introspection about what you were willing to accept in your life or not accept in your life, I heard people saying, I am going to fight for my life. I am going to fight for my right to live. I'm going to fight for my, um, for what I want, okay? And I'm not talking about fighting verbally or, um, you know, physically or anything like that. I'm talking about, I'm hearing this. This is, this is a mental aspect change within yourself, okay? So... Obviously, I got a blister from something. Um, so this is internal. This is you being determined, okay, to rise above the situation, to win at all costs. Open up options for yourself. Opportunities. Take advantage of those, okay? No longer confused about anything. The Queen of Wands, clarified by the Temperance card here. Yeah, look at the fire. Look at the passion here. This is incredible. This temperance is usually about holding your temper, but that's not what I'm getting here. What I'm getting here is, um, how do how do I put this? Um, it this is bringing it all together. Okay, so it's. It's knowing the right balance of heart, head, intuition, okay? So mind, body, and soul. It's knowing what the perfect combination is and working on that perfect combination so that you can create and manifest exactly what it is that you are looking to create and manifest in your personal life, okay? Somebody is going to come in here with a message for you. They, somebody may want to come in here and act like a knight in shining armor and feel like they have to rescue you. Help you put your burdens down. Oh, we got the Queen of Wands twice here. So you may have a friend coming towards you who wants to help you continue to elevate, okay? I'm, I did also just hear some of you may decide to adopt a cat. Or get life coaching. I don't know where the two different... I mean, that's completely different things here. But um, adopt a pet, a cat in particular, but any pet. Um, but also life coaching came in here. Like a mentorship, an apprenticeship. Something where there's... You're receiving knowledge about how to move forward to maintain your inspiration here. Okay? Awesome. I'm loving this energy. All right. Seven of Pentacles. What more can we learn about the Seven of Pentacles here, please? 
Oh, I just um, just put up a video trailer. You may have seen it um, today about um, the different aspects and features on Facebook. If you haven't seen that, you can look on my channel for it. Um, it's interesting. All right. So the Seven of Pentacles here talks about um, is being clarified by the Hierophant, which to me right now I'm hearing spirits say that this is about doing things the right way. Okay. Honoring yourself, honoring your connection to spirit. That's what this, the Hierophant is. He's a direct line to um, spirit, to God. Okay. So you're being, you have assessed your life. You want to do things the, what you consider to be the right way. Okay. And you really are connecting, reconnecting with your intuition, your spirit, your guardian angels with God, whatever source of energy of higher power you believe in, you are reconnecting. And it, I mean, you are, <laughs> it could be like a, a bolt of lightning come out of nowhere and hitting you. Okay. You may have that strong of a reawakening of a reconnection. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the five of swords here clarification of the five of swords please it's a bunch of cards but we'll take them we'll take them um oh, ba -da -da, chariot chariot i love it we started this way and we're going to end with the chariot okay Oh my gosh, look at these cards. Look at these cards. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands again, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so what I'm hearing here is you've brought your life back into balance. You are now feeling very inspired, creative, passionate, ready to go out there and take charge of your life. You are focused on your future and your legacy and what you want to do to make your life fulfilling, okay? You do have divine guidance, divine protection here. And you may have somebody coming towards you with an offer that is going to be very reliable, dependable, something you can count on, something that you may have waited for for a very long time. This could be in any aspect of your life, but you were only able to get this because you have decided to elevate up, okay? You have decided to awaken. See, you've taken the blinders off is what I'm hearing. You've taken the, the, the blinders off, acknowledge that you're not willing to take life at somebody else's with somebody else's opinion of what life should be okay and you are now taking your life in a completely different direction but there is a, a good solid offer coming in here could be any aspect of your life um usually pentacles mean um earthly goods but i'm really getting that whatever this offer is it will be solid you can count on it you can trust it okay so this may be that friendship that mentorship this pet that you get it's going to be something that benefits you. It's going to be there for a long term. It's not coming in to just leave again. Okay. And like I said, this could be something that you have hoped for, wanted, or wished for a very long time. And it could be something from your past here too. You know, your passion. You want to bring your passion back. And somehow this, uh, this offer here does that for you. All right, so what we have here is the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So for those of you looking for romance, it, there's definitely an opportunity for it to come in here. Um, you are waiting for your ship to come in for love, and guess what? There's the Ten of Cups, happiness, abundance. It's all there for you. So if you're not looking, for, if you're looking for love, it is incoming. If you want it, if you're not looking for love, you have another opportunity coming in here. Okay, you've been waiting for something for a very, very long time. It will make you. Um, it will be a generous offer, is what I'm hearing. 
it will be a generous offer from somebody else that is going to make you feel so happy, abundant, <laughs> just incredible energy there. All right, guys, let me wrap this up. Um, like the video, claim it in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We have an awesome community here. Um, we would love to have you join us. And if you are interested in a personal reading, then check the description box below this video. And I, oh, I was told by Spirit to go ahead and take a couple of these cards to share with you before I leave. These are good things that you can expect to come into your life. Okay. Oh, we got two of them right there. On the bottom of the deck, we have money will be coming to you. Okay. Money will be coming to you. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. And a meeting with a stranger could be important. So there is a handshake there, a bridge, and then money is coming in for you. I love you to pieces until our energy cro crosses again. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.